Anybody that's doing their own thing, different than anybody else, like those are the people that influence me more than anything. Anybody can do art, anybody can be creative. And that's why I tell people too, like it took me 20 years or whatever to figure it out, to find it. When I discovered it a few years ago, like my life, I mean, it's totally changed. And personally for me, like, I don't know how I like didn't have that, you know, I'm so just grateful that I found it and figured it out. I was pretty good with a pencil in just like art class, you know. But after high school, I never really did anything with it. Like, I always felt like insecure about it. When I'm doing the ballpoints, you don't have to focus for the two hours a night when I'm sitting there doing it. And I can just kind of zone out. Like, I think that's, I enjoy that process more than anything. It's rad to finish something that you've spent so much time on. Like, some of these pieces take four months. When I was younger, I would never have the patience because I didn't understand that sometimes it takes that long to do something that you're really proud of and want people to see. The original premise for me was to draw my favorite skaters, but Wes is obviously one of those guys. I want to do more of that kind of stuff. You got bricks and you got metal and you got a skateboard and wheels and trucks or whatever. Like there's, it's, it's a lot more fun to kind of hit all those different little details. The next drawing I did was Lance Mountain, who was always my favorite skater when I was a kid, like growing up, and that's the first portrait I did. The portraits are more challenging, for sure, because you can have the best technique, and if the features are out of place, it doesn't look like the person, it kind of ruins the whole thing, so. Ballpoint lends itself to sort of a certain style of image. The high contrast, super detailed, portraits work best. Some of my favorite portraits were Arto Sari's. So he did the Lance one. The next one was Ray Barbie and he had the perfect image of Ray too. So he actually sent me the prints. Whatever where the background is black, that's all dots, basically an hour, a, a square inch. So yeah, I kind of did the math on like how many dots in a square inch. The originals are 11 by 17. So yeah, millions. Some of the other mediums, that stuff can get pretty frustrating and stressful because I don't know what I'm doing and I'm trying to figure out something new and you definitely have to focus. I don't know, I like the charcoal style, like I like colored pencil and stuff, so I'm learning that stuff now and that's more challenging to me because I just don't know what I'm doing. I've done like maybe 10 charcoals and every time I do a new one, it feels like I've never done this before. I was doing my first show, I wanted to figure out a, a cool way to frame them. You need 50 tiles to make a frame, basically, and, and you can pretty much get exactly 50 tiles from one deck. And then you gotta build the outside border out of a certain size piece, and then you build the inner border out of a different size piece, but it gives you that two inch gully or whatever where you can drop in the tiles. Not every graphic lends itself to you know, being, being split up from a single image to being like tiled around. So yeah, it gets tricky, but then there's other graphics that work really well for it. When I'm drawing them, I already know what the frame's gonna be eventually. And yeah, for me, that's when it's like finished. That's how it's meant to be displayed. Art night is sick. Cab just kind of texted me and said, hey, I'm doing an art night thing on Tuesdays. Can you make it? There's like five or six of us, but we all definitely like get hyped and inspired by what each other are doing. Cab had watched me draw that for months on Tuesday nights from the very first white beard hair. Brought the piece? I brought it. Oh, and I wanted you to have it, actually. It's a gift. No way. Happy birthday. Are you serious? Especially growing up in Wisconsin like I did, my first video was Animal Chin. For me, that moment was pretty incredible. Amazing, right? <laughs> Thanks, Above man. the mantle. Yeah, man, thank you so much. Thanks for the inspiration. Thank I wrote you. a little note on the back. Oh. Just, I've been lucky to be invited into this punk rock and paintbrushes circuit that we do. This girl, Emily, kind of curates these shows all over the country, so that's been really cool. I love when people see my work in person, like at a show. I don't think you can really appreciate like all the detail or everything that goes into one of my pieces when you only see it on a phone. For the Dylan piece, that was a whole range of emotions just because of the circumstances around it. I had three weeks, I think, to get the drawing done. So it started out pretty small, smaller than my other pieces, um, just for, for time's sake. And plus it was just gonna be, on, you know, it was, the, it was the right size for the magazine cover. You just can't even dream of like ever being able to draw a cover for your favorite magazine. Like it just doesn't even enter your mind when you're a kid. I mean, it was monumental for me. 
personally and to be able to honor Dylan and his legacy and his family, you know, in that way. It was just a moment in life and in skateboarding that everybody felt. I just want to keep creating and pushing the levels of what I do. Like, I, I don't want it to become a job. I want to keep it pure and do it for myself and not really anything else. <laughs>